Okay, guys. I made you wait long enough. Bessie's got a new heart. 1978 Toyota Hilux pickup truck. Uh, did have the 20R until a few days ago. And uh, I bartered this motor out of a four-wheel drive pickup. A uh, guy needed a chainsaw and I needed a motor. I definitely got the good end of this stick. Well, actually, it was a really, really nice chainsaw. <laughs> uh, you know, steel farm boss. But anyway, 22R. Uh, it was all painted yellow. Um, I'm not so sure it wasn't ordered as a reman motor. Um, it's a, it seems like it might be a little hopped up. Uh, I, I took the pan off because I had to transfer uh, the two-wheel drive pan on over to the four-wheel drive motor because the four-wheel drive has a sump in the back. And my steering arm uh, is in the way for that. So I had to swap pans and I did all new gaskets and stuff on it. But um, anyway, looked up inside. I could tell that uh, it was pretty fresh rebuild on it. Um, and somebody had numbered the connecting rod caps. Um, so, uh, you know, it had been rebuilt. And then you could see up the cross hatching still in the cylinders. Um, not brand new, but you could tell it was good. I still got some things to do. I just got it in. I'm um, kind of tinkering and tuning it. Uh, I haven't even taken the carburetor off and cleaned it, let alone jet it. Uh, it came like that. I cleaned it off. See, it's got some you know, old, dirty air cleaner on it and everything. But uh, anyway, um, this is a 81 to 82 uh, 22R with a double roll cam, you know, double uh, gear cam, double chain on it, all that good stuff. Um, it's the one everybody wants. Uh, but anyway, check this out. Uh, I put on one of the um, thrush welded mufflers, which is basically a cheap uh, mag um, Magnaflow or whatever it is, or Flowmaster. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so tired. Check this out. Here we go. It starts on about a, a quarter of a crank. Don't even take a whole crank. Um, Um, again, I haven't done a whole lot to the carburetor yet. Well, let me get in here and hit it once. Under the hood. The hair sputtering and stuff. I mean, there's... I haven't got the vacuum stuff straightened out. I haven't done a lot of things, but... Uh, not bad. Sounds pretty good, man. She rumbles pretty nice. Um, it never sounds that great on the recording. It's a phone, but. Yeah, <laughs> I can hear a lot of things vibrate, and I actually got some wire holding one of the pipes up real right now until I get the right pipe on it, but. Um, anyway, okay, enough of that. That probably sounds terrible on this phone. But uh, I think you guys got the idea. Um, she's a little, little bit dirty. But uh, that's, uh, that's what it looks like. 1978 Toyota Hilux. It's just, uh, you know, it is what it is. Look at that dirt on that seat, man. Uh, the guy that I got it from um, was a mechanic, Spanish guys, really cool fella. Um, he bought it from some young girl who had recently hit a deer with it and sold it because of the brakes or whatever. Um, that's what the damage had happened there in the front end. But uh, it was it was all greasy when I got it inside and out. The bed of the truck was full of grease and, and truck parts and car parts. Um, I think they were going to... Uh, crazy rays or something and getting parts and stuff so um that's patina man you know i love it i'm keeping it on there so anyway yeah she's got a new heart it's kind of a longer video um for a change but uh i had to go through a lot of stuff i uh, wish i could have filmed it but i was kind of in a hurry because i only had a couple days to get the thing in i'm using this truck as a daily driver so i will go over some stuff and I do have a lot more to do. I just kind of got it in here. And today I was able to drive it and tune it a little bit. Um, but I can only tune it so much because I got to get that carburetor off there and get it cleaned up and 
Um, they say you have to run a regulator on these Webers. Um, I don't have one on here, and it's running great, but I got a feeling I'm on borrowed time. So I'm going to throw that on there. I actually just forgot it earlier uh, when I went in um, to get some stuff there. But anyway, yeah, I painted it up a little bit, just, you know, kind of a little bit nice, not too much. And then, of course, I scratched it all up getting it in and a couple other dumb things I did. I had to pull things in and out a couple times. Um, I'm not sure the brand of the headers yet. <laughs> Um, probably just some cheap stuff, but I did have to modify them a little bit because they were hitting the steering box. Sorry about that zip tie. You can see that little gap down there. I actually had to flatten them a little bit and they hit a little bit of something on that side. So I got it pulled over right now so don't shake your teeth out inside the cab, but I'll get some better video of it. I uh, just thought you guys uh, might be interested in <laughs> knowing what's going on. And, um, you know, I eventually will drop a Chevy 350 small block in this truck but at that time i want to be able to take it off the road and do it right because i'm going to have to cut the floor uh, make a new tunnel for the uh automatic trans and all that stuff because i want to put a 700 r um built up in it you know in a 350 small block you know done up pretty good so but anyway for now this little sucker rolls oh my god <laughs> it's like night and day compared to what was in there i mean that 20 r is a, a tough little nasty motor too but um that thing was getting so weak, uh, I was running about, you know, half of its potential, probably about 50 horsepower, if that is all that poor thing was putting out, but it was still pretty good. This is like twice as much, so I don't even want to begin to try to guess what this motor's got. It's a, it's a little more, it's a mild performance upgrade, probably a real mild cam in it, so, you know, whatever a fresh 22R with a mild cam, Weber, and a header, that's what we got going on here right now. And I got the three-speed A40 automatic. And uh, I got 411 Posi rear uh, is what this truck's got. Uh, here's my little tag and, you know, in case uh, somebody wants to say different. There it is. So you can look that up. Um, yeah, it's nasty. It'll, it'll burn the tires off. I go around the corner and kick into it in the downshift and it'll boil the tires and I'll kind of fishtail a little bit. So I'm not used to that. Uh, I'm only taking it out two times. So anyway, guys, um, stay tuned. This was kind of a long-winded um, video this time. But uh, yeah, stay tuned, man. I'm going to polish that cover up. I got a lot of stuff to do. So and you can see my nasty battery set up there. I got a broken cable. Shoo! Man, it's poor man stuff here. But <laughs> All right, guys, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.